What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming content. So today I'm out here on a private body of water that has some absolute giants in it. I got my buddy Ryan with me and a couple years ago he caught a couple absolute giants out here when I was with him and one of the biggest bass I've actually ever seen in my life. We didn't have a scale that day, but it was an absolute monster. So we are hoping that we're going to have a really good day today. Uh, it's 34 degrees right now, but it is supposed to warm up to 66. And we're going we're gonna to make a goal today to see if we can catch, what, 20, 20 pounds? You want to see if we can catch 20 pounds? Yeah. All right, so we got a goal to catch 20 pounds a day. There's some big ones in here. I mean possibly pb status bass no doubt so we're gonna fish hard see if we can catch a big bag and maybe we can put a big bass in the boat today so let's go ahead and get started see if we can catch a big one see if we can catch old giant today and this side over here is definitely going to be a little bit warmer because the sun's coming up behind us and shining on that shoreline and a lot of times that's where we catch them at as well so throughout the day they may push up slide up on that bank and plus with the water muddy that's going to get them a little bit shallower too but hopefully we get into a a big one today or multiple multiple big ones All right, so right now I'm throwing the lipless and Ryan is throwing a DT-10 trying to get our first bite to see see what these fish want. It did get down pretty doggone cold last night, so it cooled the water temps down. But we're expecting to get into one here pretty soon. Been fishing about maybe 15, 20 minutes. But we're hoping to get a get a big and we just got to get that first bite to figure out what how deep they are and what they want. There he is. Big? No, not that big. On the raised bug day. Oh, it's a pike. Oh. He don't, he don't count. I thought it was a bass all the way into the boat. Well, I guess we can call him fish number one. Wrong species. Wrong species. I can get him off. All right. Check my line. Good to go. All right. Well, first fish, not what we wanted, but it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. We will ease up a little bit shallower. See if these fish are up a little shallower.
We didn't get bit out deep. We're fishing about 10 to 12 foot of water. Seeing some fish out here, but couldn't get them to bite, so. We're gonna move up and see if the fish are pushed up with this water being so muddy. It should be, yeah. There's one. It is a good one. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to swing. I don't know if I'm going to swing that dude. Dark gun, we finally got one. There we go. That's a, that's a, that's a good one now. On the chatterbait. Nah, I don't know. He ain't bad. Look how white he is. Just muddy water. Yeah. He He's probably three, three something. We'll, we'll check him. All right, that's the first one. First one. Let's see what we got. So we move further back down the pond on this side, and I just tied on that fire crawl. It's not a jackhammer. It's just a regular old chatterbait see what this one is 328 <laughs> so we're gonna lock that in position one and there is their first one of the limit we'll leave this we'll leave the scale out hopefully we're gonna need that again but that's a pretty one right there you going back in there buddy Woo! Trying to give me a bath. All right. You got him on that. This is not a jackhammer. That's just a regular fire crawl chatterbait with a rage, rage menace scrub trailer. Good deal. Haven't been throwing it long. Might be the deal. And Ryan had just said, you had just said this is the spot where you usually catch fish at. So nice. And he hit it out close to the boat. So they might just be sitting just off. Or he could just follow it, yeah. And I will say that he bit it. I stopped it and popped it. And, and when I went to reel again, he was on it. Yep, so. Bass number one. On the way to 20. All right, so we fish for, how long we fish, an hour? 10, 10, okay so we fished over an hour to get that first bass in here and that's the first bass bite that we've had that we're aware of ryan did get a bite on a spinnerbait um yeah yep yeah, and he missed one on the on the brush hog so that would that was probably a bass bite too most likely but we're just easing back in the back of the pond up here in this shallower flatter stuff and we ended up getting, picking up a pretty decent one on the chatterbait, so. Maybe we got some more bigs pushed up back here. There he is. Oh, is he on there? He's, you got him out, you got him out. Got him out of that treetop on the brush hog. First fish is one or two though. Yep. We'll, we'll scale we'll scale them in case we catch two tens. He got a little cut on his tail. He might weigh a pound. Let me say one four. One point three. All right. Get out of there. Yeah. Major League. <laughs> First fish. 
of 2022 for Ryan. Yeah, I ain't dying in that tree like that. But that's two fish. We done got here to where it deepens back up. Back there kind of on that flat was where Ryan caught one. That's a fish. He's on there. Oh, he just come off. You see him come off? Doggone it, that was a good one. That was about a four pounder. Darn. Well, what I was saying was we had just come up into, in it was getting deeper. It was sitting at seven and a half foot right here and I flipped up this treetop, which I actually flipped up in, shoot, they came in no more than a couple foot of water right here where I pitched up to, but I had him and uh, he come off. We seen him roll off and right under the water and I lost him, but that gummit, that was a good one. That was on that raised bug. Yeah, that fish was in about three, three foot of water. But what happened? My line pegged. Ooh, it is shredded too. I got to retie. But my line pegged on the back of this treetop. About three foot of water is what it was in. Three to four foot. Well, that's two bites in wood because you got bitten wood and yeah. Man, I hate to lose him. He would have been a nice contributor to the to the limit that's all right maybe the bite's picking up a little bit kind of surprised we didn't get bit in that top right there Still seeing, there's one. I mean, aired it out. Get in here. Yeah. Yep. Man, I didn't think he was very big the way he was, the way he was popping, popping it. There's one. So, we're going to scale him. Definitely not one we want to be having at the end of the day. I'm going to say he's a 1-3. It's like the other one. Yeah. Let's see what we got. one. Alright. 1.21. There he is, rage bug. All crap from 20. Yeah, yeah, we got a long ways to go to get that, get that 20 pounds we were, we were thinking about earlier. Oh yeah. I think he's got a little size to him, bro. Ooh, he's got some big head shakes. Oh, it's a giant, get the net. Oh my God, this is the biggest bass of my life. Ryan, I'm not even playing, he is huge, dude. Oh my God, oh my God. Stallion. Oh my God, dude. That's a beast. Dude, that is the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, oh my God, dude. This fish might be 12 pounds. Oh my God. That's a bull. Right Dude, there. oh my God. That's a bull. Are you, you kidding off? me? You it came off? off right when you put it in the net. Dude, That's oh my God. 
Holy crap. You have got to be kidding me. That's a fool right You there. have got to be freaking kidding me. Oh my God. Dude, I already know what to say. Oh my God. Dude, we're gonna put it in the live well real quick. But it, but I wanna, I wanna, let, let's scale it. Scale it, measure it, and all that shit. We, if you wanna decide to get a replica, dude. You're gonna keep it. No, I'm not gonna keep it. We're gonna. Put it, let me see what you, let me get a picture of it. Oh my. That is, that fish is absolutely huge. Need to get back in the sunshine on you. Okay. Dude. <laughs> 12 1. Dude, that is wrong. Oh my God. Twelve point. Quit shaking. <laughs> oh my. Dude, hang on. Dude, you have got to be freaking kidding me. Twelve point one nine, or twelve point one six. Dude, cool. dude. Land at a giant. Twelve pounder? Are you kidding me? Twelve point one six. That is an absolute. Giant, I'm shaking so bad. All right, so I just caught that bass, weighed 12.16 pounds. My biggest fish before that was eight pounds, 10 ounces. That's an absolute giant, but caught it on a uh, Swamp Water Blue Rage Bug with a 3 8 ounce, one objective, 3 8 ounce weight, and caught it on 22 pound Balzax Revington. I mean, that is an absolute giant. I'm still shaking right now. I got it in the live well. We're going to get some more good pictures of it. And I'm going to show it to y'all again. But what a beast. Whew. Man, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this fish out. She weighed 12.16 pounds, 26 and 3 8 inches long, and 21 and a half inches around her girth. So definitely getting a replica made of her. But she's an absolute beast. We're gonna get right and let her go. I mean, I still can't even believe how big this fish is. She is an absolute giant, absolute giant. We're gonna let her go. I mean, that's the fish of a lifetime. I'll never catch a fish that big again. I mean, I'm almost positive she is a monster. So let's go ahead and let her go. God. It's just fish of a lifetime. Giant, giant. All right, girl. Whew. Look at that thing. Hate to even take my hands off of her. She's a beauty. There you go, girl. Man, what a fish. She go. What an absolute giant. <laughs> hey, man. Man, that's awesome. Let's get another one. How about that? Sounds like a plane. All right. Dude! <laughs> it's a big one, ain't it? We got one. We got him on. Oh, got another big one here. Ryan got another big one on the rattle trap. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna fall down. Yeah, this is a big one. I mean, this is a great big one, dude. Unless Ooh. I got him snagged. Good grief, dude. This might be bigger than the one I caught. Just don't let him get hung up down there. Oh my, dude, this is a giant bass. <laughs> this is a giant. <coughs> come on up here. It ain't even come up yet. Now you got it in the mouth by them head shakes. Unless you got like right in the tail. Oh, it's a big one though. He got it in the tail. Oh, don't come off. Dude, that is 20 pounds. That's like, that's over eight. He's over eight pounds. Hooked it in the tail. That is crazy. That is over an eight pounder, bro. Hold that sucker up. <laughs> that fish is over eight for sure. Holy. Well, I'm gonna say we got over 20 pounds. Dude. Dude, look at that fish. He's, a, he's over eight. I'm gonna say he's over eight too. Check that giant out. Put him on the scale. 
Wow. That joker, I hooked him up yonder. Really? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell what, it was, what was going on because he was coming this way. What we got? Dude. 866 or 864. 864. Hang on, let me lock him in. Oh, shoot, it locked in today. Hang on. There we go. 864, dude. All right, y'all. Check that out. Look. Ryan just got an 8.64. Actually, on the trap. I mean, got it, got it, snagged it in the tail, but <laughs> she must have swiped on it. She had to have swiped on it. But look, hey, let's take a picture, dude. You got to take a picture. Oh, yeah. can't, can't forget to take a picture with a, with a mega donkey like that, bro. Heck yeah, dude. Hey, I'm a video, a video of you. Letting her go. Another beast. Big one. I mean, great big. 8.6, 8.66, I think. 8.64, 8.64. Absolute giant. There she goes. Dude, another big one. <laughs> How about that? I mean, absolute tank. We have definitely gotten over 20 pounds now. With two fish. 20 pounds with two fish. Y'all, that's unbelievable. No. We got 26.91. With five. With five. 26.91. It got a one pounder in there. Yeah. There's, right. there's two of them in there. There's two of them in there. So, all right, look, y'all. We got 26.91 pounds. And we got a 1.30 and a 1.52. <laughs> so, if we, can, if we can get rid of one and fish with a good one, or both of them with good fish, we'll be over 30. Easily. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There he is. Got that one. Oh, not the size we want. He's a call though. Same guppy I call. The same guppy. <laughs> Chill out, bud. Hungry. Yeah, he's he's not what we want. Look how much smaller he is in 12 pounds. <laughs> a lot smaller. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. Yeah. All right, so that was what six fish in the boat today, six bass. I'll take it. It's kind of been kind of been a, a, about wood, kind of you know, with a lot of the bites we've gotten have been been around wood. He was right off the end of it, right off the end of that top. When I come out, he popped it. There he is. That's probably a good, oh, that's a good one. That's our 30 pound limit right there. Me and Ryan talking about how hungry we are. Oh no. That was a six pounder. Yeah, a bit of it. Doggone it. Oh no. That would have been our 30 right there and he popped off. That was a six pounder all day, y'all. Oh, dadgummit. Must have had him on the outside of the lip or something because he, he just popped right out, yeah. Oh, man. I thought that was our 30. That's, that would have been 30, I mean, for sure. Well, that is going to be it. That is going to be it. We ended up with 26.60 pounds 
and that included two fish in the one pound range which is absolutely nuts <laughs> it's just insane pretty incredible we get this thing on a trailer and i can't wait to get home and look at this look at this footage all right well i just i'm still speechless when i think about how big that fish was it, it was an absolute giant i've never seen a fish that big i've seen 10 pound class fish but this fish was just on another level i was incredibly lucky uh for this to happen to me and to be able to catch a fish that big and that my buddy invited me out to to that particular pond to fish with him that day just everything lined up and you know it was meant to be absolutely incredible fish i still can't get over just the size of it the the girth and just how big the fish was overall still mind-blowing thinking about that thing sitting down in that live well and not to mention my buddy you know catching one over eight and a half pounds as well uh really really awesome day and it's just it's a day i won't never forget i'm really glad to be able to share uh, you know the catch with you all and you know that's about it absolute monster fish of a lifetime man I can't get over how big she was. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends as well. And I will see you next time on Gunfish TV.